Good morning, modern steaders. Man, we had a freak storm blowing yesterday, and I don't even know how much rain we got. It was raining like a son of a gun. But our weather station stopped sending signal in the house. So I think the battery's dead. So we're gonna have to check that. But first, we're gonna get the chickens some fresh hay for their nesting boxes. You know it's a pain in the butt when you don't have a pocket knife. Guys, I lost it the other day. I think it's when I was changing the poultry netting for the goats. I'm thinking it had a clip here and the clip must have got stuck in the poultry netting. I'll have to see if I can find it. Or maybe it's stuck on the fence somewhere. You girls need some fresh hay. Oh my goodness, you'd think I was the boogie monster. You want to give these to mom? Or put them on the counter, please? Thank you. I'm going to get the door for you. getting pretty muddy in here with all the rain we've been having, so the pigs love hay. Okay. They like eating it, and they like bedding in it. I think the fence is off. What are you doing, Blossom? Oh, you hide it there? Yeah. You got a good spot for it, huh? Yeah. You gonna turn it on? I'm gonna go out and... Well, I'll just turn it off now. Let's look, see if we can find my knife quickly. Yep, so we'll check down here first and then we'll check the other fence and see if it's on the old fence. But I'm curious if it fell out out here. We always end up finding it. We've always found it in the past, you are right. The goats are following you. Yeah, they think you're their shepherd. Oh, they're following you, Livies. What are you doing, Willow? You got something stuck in your teeth. I think it's stuck on this other fence. Maybe. I'll have to check and see. That'd be too funny if it was in here or on it. I don't see it unless it's rolled up in there somewhere. Yeah. And I don't feel like unrolling it. See how big this squash plant's gotten? Yeah, it's huge. Isn't it? I can't believe that it doesn't even have any squash on it yet. It does. It does? It's got some baby squashes. Oh, uh, like big enough to eat? Nope, right here. So it must must be buttercup squash. See it right there? Yep. And then I see a bunch of little ones and he's got a big flower here going. Some more flowers there. That thing's just gone crazy. 
Throw it in the it's compost funny how pile. You have a buttercup plant and a buttercup goat. Right? Except buttercup goat is a flower. Look how big that is. Look how big those leaves big. are. You can't even see the compost pile. Anymore. You can't. There is a compost pile yeah. under there, huh? We got our safety engineer to make sure I don't do anything too crazy, huh? Let's get the battery door right there. Here. Can't go anywhere right there. Leave it there till I get down. I hope without a crash in. Actually, I think I gotta do this. There we go. We got it. All right, we got our operation table set up, Libby's. Right here. All right, let's see what we need for batteries. Two. Nope, holy moly. We need four. Yeah, I was wondering, one of them got wet. And started leaking so this is what it's doing it's not recording any of the good stuff batteries were corroded pretty good a couple of them right there here and there so Let's see and then that one just want to wipe it down and make sure there's not any corrosion inside And it looks like we're stealing these from somebody's present. Somebody must have got these on a birthday present or Christmas present. Yeah. Cause they got tape on them like they were stuck to a package. So we'll see how the Sony's handle the elements. one of those things it's not a necessity but it's pretty nice having this and knowing what the outside temp is and rainfall and so thanks Simon what's that when we got this one, yeah. Man, that sun is bright. There's one. I'm glad we don't gotta change those batteries more often. I'm getting some purple flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna let the bees do their work too. Yeah, there's quite a few bees in that one. Maybe over here we can grab some. Here's a nice can add to your bouquet. Two 
there's some water in that. They smell good? Yeah, but there's like barely any water in here. Uh, they look pretty. Yeah, I think they drink most of it. Can you give it a little more? Yep. I think we're gonna find a whole bunch of stuff in there. Maybe. There you go. Nice one. First red tomato. Look at all them cucumbers. Yep. Carrots are doing good. No, the beets are looking good too. You find some green beans? Yeah. Need a basket? Yes, please. I see two big zucchinis. One, two. These darn potato bugs. That's what they look like. Just like a beetle. Want some potato bugs? At least we can turn them into eggs. We have a bag of DE here, so we're gonna try this. This is supposed to dry out the bugs and kill them. We're going to bring scraps to the piggies. Think they'll like it? Yeah. Oh, the goats are in the shade. It's too hot for them. Yeah. Sausage and Link, you want some scraps? The bottom stuff has been in there for such a long time it formed into the bucket. Hey, look what I found. Hey, no way. <laughs> I just found that. What the heck? It was right there. Yeah, right I there. Like right on my oh my goodness, you said we always find it. <laughs> Good job. That's too funny. Me and Olivia were just looking for it. I know. We were able to collect enough string beans to make two jar full of refrigerated dilly beans. The first set of dilly beans for the season. We are so excited. They got to sit in the refrigerator for 48 hours and then we can break open our first jar and give them a try. Thanks for coming along with us on our journey as we build our farm life. And we'll see you guys right back here next time at Lumna Acres.